Welcome to the Power Friendship Podcast. Hello. <laughs> One shot, special edition, mm-hmm. real Swifty hours. You know what time it is. Taylor Swift time. Tay Tay, T Swizzle, wherever we go. We got, we talk, you know, I got a special guest today. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Brian. Um, how long we know each other? Like six, five something yeah, years? Bro, it's been a long time. I ran you up for like a year before I knew we were friends. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually don't know when, but yeah, mm-hmm. um, I saw comic books and listen to Taylor Swift. That's basically all I I'm do. digging. I'm digging. I'm digging. We're here, we're here to talk about the album. Mm-hmm. Albums. <laughs> now, Albums. here's the thing. Do you count it? Okay. Because people are saying it's Taylor Swift 11 and 12. It's not. Oh. Number 11 is just two two albums. Hmm, that's interesting. Because like Damn, folklore, you know? folklore, and Evermore are separate. If they came out the same day, they wouldn't be one album because they're not called the same thing. Hmm. Okay. Because like people are that's saying she's question. up to twelve albums now, but it's not right. Hmm. I'd be eleven. Maybe, maybe, maybe right. You know what, Brian? Because because if you go you into know? the app, it's it's just a full album. Yeah, you go, mm-hmm. Yeah, all mm-hmm. two hours. Hold up. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, it's, whole, yeah, it's two hours. Like, I was like, yeah, you're, oh, you're right. Yeah, basically you're she right. released one half of it in stores, and then the other half she just put online. Damn it. Also, you can't, because the album got leaked, like, on Wednesday, uh-huh. and your album can't get leaked if the other half of it's online. So, that way they only leaked half of it. You're right. You're on to something here. You're on to something here. I'm, I, you're spitting. You're spitting. You're spitting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Tortured Poets Department, the anthology. Yeah. Because it's. What do you, th- what do you th- hmm? Yeah. What do you think about the title? What do you think about it? What do you think about I it? like it. I mean, she's always had goofy stuff. She's never had goofy stuff in the Terry album. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, half the songs on Lover are kind of goofy. I love those songs. But they're really good songs. <laughs> They're really good. I like the songs. Okay, we gotta get, we gotta get some Taylor Swift. All right, so Taylor Swift. All right, so give me your 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 favorite Taylor Swift song. My favorite Taylor Swift song, if I had to pick one, would be "Out of the Woods" from 1989. Because 1989 was how I started. Okay. Because okay. I started okay. um, yeah. started with "Shake It Off," then a few months later bought the album. That was nine years ago, I think. That came out. Mm. And mm. listened to basically nothing but that for like six months, probably. And then I started buying her older stuff. I actually went backwards. So I didn't Got start you. with self-titled. I went from 1989, yeah. then, you know, read everything else. Yeah. Hey. Okay, 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 okay. I was different. I did I did Picture to Burn with my first Taylor Swift song. Oh, which is good. I woke up on country uh, CMT. <laughs> I woke up. I heard bum, 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 bum. I said, "Yo, this is good." <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> and she wrote that in like then, uh, she wrote that in gym class, I think. Bro, that song is a. Oh, I love Taylor Swift. That's and that's my jam. We should have her versions of that by end of the year. Because how she's been doing it is one new album, two re-releases, and there's only two re-releases mm-hmm. left. So, mm-hmm. reputation. Reputation's gonna be next. I'm almost bought. I I really think she'll end it with self titled. Mm. Because like why wouldn't she? Yeah. That's poetic. Yeah. That's poetic. So that's something cool. Okay. If you could have all right. If Taylor Swift was at your house for one song to perform one song and one song only, what would it be? That's hard after that last album they just put out because there's thirty one songs on there. Just, um I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, bro. You had Taylor. If I had one day one just... song for her to perform live, I don't no, know if you've seen you. she did a. Just for you. Well, yeah, I mean it'd be live though. So. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, have you ever seen the acoustic set she did for Lover in Paris? I think it was. No. So it's like six songs. She did a really tiny show, and all of them are online. That's the thing that I have the heart vinyl for. That album. Mm. Her version of Cornelia Street, on that. I would probably want her to do that because I think that's her mm. best live performance. Okay. Okay. But I mean, also like, who is, I, I could also okay. say all too well, cause that way it'd be a 10 minute long song. Ten minute I'd be songs. Getting <laughs> <laughs> if you just like, all right. Your, your Taylor Swift dream collaboration. 
it pauses every five seconds. Every it, it's weird. Oh, okay. It pauses every eight minutes. Eight minutes it's, it's weird. It's like, Ew. oh, it's Ew. like a dip in thing. Yeah, it's trying to catch, trying to catch, trying to catch us up. It's like, Ew. okay, okay, yeah, yeah, good. All right, if you your future Tales of Dream collaboration. I mean, after the Grammys, I would like to see her and Celine Dion because I grew up on Celine Dion. Oh shit! So that would be a big one for me. Um, also, because I know Ed Sheeran is doing a collab with Cradle of Filth, so mm. I would kind of like to see Cradle of Filth Taylor Swift because I have a playlist on my phone where it's a Taylor Swift song, then a Cradle of Filth song, and it's called Taylor Filth, and I think that'd be kind of cool. That's I'm, I'm I'm digging that. I like that. I like the way you I like the way you do things here. Okay, you said Celine Dion. Mm-hmm. All right, so oh yeah, who's your top five favorite vocalists? Hmm, I would say. I mean, I'm going to say Taylor number one. I know a lot of people don't give her credit for her vocals, but she's not trying to be Whitney Houston. Like, she's not trying to do, like, crazy out there vocals. She's just a really good singer. So I would say Taylor, Celine Dion, Phoebe Bridgers, mm. which this last album, like, half the songs just straight up sound like Phoebe Bridger could be on those songs and would fit. Mm. Hmm. Uh, Freddie Mercury, because my sister will kill me if I don't say Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. I would say Oz, Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, that's a good one. Interesting, my fir- interesting. My first concert was Black Sabbath's Farewell Tour in Philadelphia. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, your music taste is really interesting. Yeah, it's what? like um, right now on my Apple Music, like you know how it will update every month with what your top stuff is? Yeah. It's 99 Taylor Swift songs and one Slaughter to Prevail song. I, so my iTunes has no idea what to recommend me. Interesting. Interesting. I'm a Spotify boy. I'm a Spotify boy. I feel like I should be because that's the one that they count the numbers for the most, but I've had Apple Music and it's it stores every year. So you can actually see Taylor Swift slowly take over my playlist over the last decade. <laughs> that's, I like, it's more true. So I, okay, I, I, I kind like of them. feel like I've, I mean, I've already been paying them ten bucks a month for a decade, so yeah, yeah. Huh. Which now they think about it, it's a lot of money. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, all right. So we talk about. Do you, do you listen? We listen. Do you listen? When do you listen to Taylor Swift the most? What was that? When do you listen to Taylor Swift the most? Like when? When's the most you ever? So that's basically all I listen to in the car, because going to and coming okay. from work and everything, and. We'll have random days at the shop because we'll have, you know, when new release day for comic book days, we'll have Marvel movies, DC movies or whatever on. But random days during the week, I can have like a Taylor Swift day. Okay. I like it. I like it. Hmm? How come there's not a Taylor Swift comic book? What are we doing here? Well, I mean, when she plays Dazzler, there will be. So. Spoiler alert. Okay. I'm yeah, down. I'm assuming. Hey. <laughs> I hope. I hope. It I mean, sense. you did notice the be last dazzling. word. You did notice what the last word is on the album, right? What she says, dazzling. I hate to hear. Yeah, yeah. I should have. I, I was like, <laughs> okay. So when, the last when, song when she it, says, "You look like Taylor Swift, dazzling." Like she's just saying she's going to be dazzler. <sighs> I'm going to buy so many action figures. Oh, oh can so you imagine the hot figures. toy for that? Bro, I'm buying it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always, I'm buying it. I'm not playing. Mm-hmm. I'm not playing around. I'm buying it day on. And I can, <laughs> I can show you the box. The Batman hot toy came in with the bat signal. Is it beautiful? It, it actually has foil little Riddler clues on the around the box and everything. Like it's yeah. I have to figure out where to put it. It's huge. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I'm looking at the questions. I'm like, <laughs> oh no no no. Okay. No, I, I, oh. I keep derailing. Right. That's my bad. All right. Oh, I paused every five seconds. That's why I hate this. You're fine. It pauses. It just pauses. I hate it. <laughs> and we're back. Commercial break. That was a commercial break. It, pa- it pauses every eight. It's so weird. Shout out to Riverside. We love you, but damn. <laughs> it's, it's all good. Man, that pause is weird. Yo, it's, <laughs> uh, it's so weird. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and I was like, ah, it's fine, but it's, it's okay. It's just a blue blur when it pauses. Ooh, the blue blur. <laughs> Okay, okay, I didn't mean to do that. All right, so <laughs> okay, you yo bars. I got bars. Okay, all right. Your ritual for Taylor Swift album releases. What do you do? 
What do you do? So what do you, how do you get ready? Usually I'll, so like say with this one, this one uh-huh. was the 11th. So each day before I'll listen to just one of them rather because mm. normally what I will do is since my Apple music is literally just her for the most part, I'll just hit random on that playlist. Mm. But okay. yeah, for like a big album, like when Reputation re-releases, I will be listening to Reputation original because once Reputation re-releases, I'll have to delete the original. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then we Do can't that. listen to the stolen ones anymore. Yes, yes. Okay, so all right, the album. Well, we got uh, any more Taylor questions. <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm a, you know what? Let's get to the album. The mm-hmm. Tortured Poets Department uh, Department Anthology. Question. Yeah. Okay. All right. I when I opened it, I said "Post Belong." Oh, this is about to be whack. <laughs> I played that song ten times. Oh yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. I got. I was like, I, why do I like this song so much, Taylor? I was like, Ooh. I was like not only that, so she, good. Gave a, she gave us a Post Malone song the day before four twenty. That's crazy. That's so Post crazy. Malone just she, had she, the best weekend ever. Yeah, he's just he's just killing right now. That's I can't believe I I was like I didn't see that collaboration coming at all it I... actually started because um i don't know what year but there was a year where she won an award that he was up for too and when uh-huh. she when she goes up to the stage she goes over and hugs him and apparently they started talking after that and mm. then she asked him to be on this album which of course he said yes because you know why not yeah why not why not that's i that the, for, i played it 10 times mm-hmm. I played played that work. I love everything about it. I I just didn't think I would ever in twenty twenty four Taylor Swift and Post Malone on a bingo card. No, yeah, yeah. I I her it, it fits way better than I thought it ever would. Yeah, all her songs are interesting. She has Florence the Machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love my favorite Florence the Machine, man. I want to see them live so bad. Oh, I love Florence. You know, whenever she, she, you know, the first time she plays that on the Aero Store, she's going to have Florence with her, right? She has to. I need to be there. I got to mm-hmm. do something now. Well, you know, she's going to do it in Florida. And I think her tour actually ends in Florida. We got to go to Florida. Yeah. Uh, we got to go. We got to go. Uh, she's so cryptic and methodical in just everything she does. This is kind oh, of everything. This is interesting. Yeah, she everything plans is... this. She plans this stuff out so far ahead. It's disgusting. Hmm. I love like, it. Um, I love it. On her on the music video for Mean, the hmm. she's like performing on the stage with a banjo. The windmill in the back says Willow. Like, she's been doing all of this forever. Okay. She's <laughs> she's she's like continuity. Damn. Yeah. Okay, this is the I all right, I love it, I love it. But yeah, this this album, I listened to that song ten times. Uh Florida I listened to like a bunch of times. And oh, yeah. I, I I'm gonna get you back. Mm-hmm. That is like I love that song. Oh, but yeah. like I, it's still it's still I don't know, I'm just not used to her I, I don't know, she cusses and I like it. I love Down it. bad, I think she cusses like fifty times. Yeah, and I and I was like, "Yo, this is the <laughs> wildest. I like this. I like this. I don't know." Yeah. So, so Taylor Swift is always interesting to me because I'm always like, mm, mm, "I don't like it." And then like later on, I always like, "Damn, damn." You have okay. to listen to the song like four or five times before you really get it. Yeah, I love it. I love it, man. I love it. And then yeah, when Reputation comes out, I liked. I I I listened to it like once or twice. I was like, "Oh, okay," but I was like, I went back. Like, yeah, I was like. Damn. Yeah. What? Dress? That's my shit. Uh, oh, yeah. Dress, 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 dress. No, that's my shit. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I said, yo, Tay Tay, let's go. But I got I to gotta hear you. What, what's up? What's up? What you, how you feeling about the album? Oh, the how new you one? Feel? The new one, right? Yeah. I need it. I want all the things. Tell me all the things. The new one, I feel like, because since it's a double album, because she has the producer from like 1989 and everything, and the producer from the Folklore Evermore stuff. I think. Mm-hmm. Instead of doing a sequel to one of them, she just did a sequel to both. Because it feels like Midnight's in Folklore and Evermore at the same time. Like, okay. it it definitely has, like, it's kind of like the lyrics of Midnight with the 
music of Evermore sounding to mm-hmm. me at least. But it's okay. like I'm. I don't even know how many times I've listened to it yet, but it's like I, I feel like I'm still. I'm looking at. Yeah, because it's like how many times have I? Okay, yeah, because I played it. Yeah, this morning I listened to it. And I was listening to it all throughout the weekend, and I was just like, yeah. "This is just." And I'm still finding stuff that I didn't notice because it's so yeah. much. And I'm like, okay, damn, I want more, Taylor. I always want more. I, want I mean, more. to be fair, she called it an anthology. She could just next week be like, "Here's part three for all we know." Jesus Christ, she's like she tried because the the song um, I can do with a broken heart is about her mm-hmm. touring at the beginning of the tour. Mm. Is it frozen? No, it's, it's, uh, uh, it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that song's mm-hmm. about her touring at the beginning of the tour after like the breakup and everything. So she had. Basically, the and I don't I don't talk a ton about like the personal stuff because you know it's not my business really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But but we all everybody knew that the breakup uh, happened and then she went right on tour. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. it was cool her writing a song about that. Like even going through all that, she still had a billion dollar tour and it's not even half over yet. Yeah, I just I I, I don't mind her talking. About, I just think that's how music music is yeah, like I, for the soul, yeah, you know. yeah her talking about it's fine. It's the people that are like trying to pinpoint which day like breakups happen from the songs it's like guys that that's a little weird like mm-hmm. you could just listen to the song and enjoy it yeah the personal stuff i'm like oh you know what i'm i'm i just like how it feels like intimate the whole album feels intimate to me and i'm yeah. like it reminds me of phoebe bridgers because phoebe bridgers just feels like you're just reading her journal yeah like she does I, not hold back anything and I'm, I'm like oh and I'm just like, I feel like I'm just with her right there. And I that's why I like it. It's personal with Taylor. And I always think that oh, it's very cool about her. That's yeah. why I always like, all right, I fucks with it. Like, I like hearing, and I like feelings from somebody. Like, hearing somebody's feelings out and putting them <laughs> out, how they are, how they feel, is just so interesting. It's, I just, I don't know. The way she does it, to me, is very, I I think she's up, she's up, uh, she's going in my top five of all time. Yeah. I, I think. And I can't, like, not, because I love, I listen to everything. So I kind of, for her to stand out to me in a different kind of way, not into like, as a more personal person, like, if I like were to like die, I want somebody, I want her to write my album, like for my life. Yeah. If, yeah. If I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, and then like, I don't know like, like facts about her and stuff like that. Like, she's amazing, man. She does a lot of things. Mm. I'm like, yo, this is great. I, I'm loving everything. And like, I didn't know how how successful she was from her own music and just like what she does stuff like that. The billionaire thing was crazy to me. I was like, yeah, because because the the reason it's her and not anybody else is that if you do a billion dollar tour but you don't own the rights to your song, you're paying people for that. Like mm. every tour before this, she was paying someone else to perform her own songs. Yeah, yeah. Now, yep. when other than the two CDs, obviously, when she performs her own stuff, she gets that money. So mm. she's doing a tour with what's it going to be like 120 Oof. dates or something crazy. Yeah. Like that. yeah. And each of those okay. she's doing for three hours and she's making like what? 90% of the money from that. Right. Right. And that that's right. insane. That's all right. Question. All right. Now. All right. I need you to explain for the people. What exactly does Taylor version mean? I forgot to explain. I asked you this in the beginning. Okay. What does Taylor's version mean for the people? Explain. Taylor's version is when she did the contract for, not going to remember the record label name, but she did the contract. I think it was either like end of high school or right out of high school. That contract, basically anything she wrote while under that contract, they had the rights to. Which, you know, she was what, 17 or 18 when she signed that contract. So Mm -hmm. she had no idea she'd be you know, 500 million people listening to her album in one day. And yeah. so once that contract started to run out, which I think it ran out before Lover. So I think Lover was the first album she did that she herself owned outside of the label. And mm. she told them, when you're going to sell my rights, let me know so I can buy them. And the guy Scooter Braun bought them instead. So his thing was, I think he was offering her I will sell them back to you for each album you make for me. So she would make an album that he would own to then get an album back that she made already. 
So basically she would uh, constantly be making an album to get an album back. So she would never own all of her own stuff. And right. his res- her response was, obviously you could guess. And her only other option was if she physically re-recorded them herself. And mm-hmm. Scooter Braun was like, she won't have time to do that. But then lockdown happened and she was like, okay, I'll just record all my own stuff. So Taylor's version is her, it's her re-recording the same songs. She does change. You've noticed little changes here and there for like arrangements and stuff yeah. on them. Yeah. But, yes. And then she also puts the bonus tracks that the labels like didn't let her put like 10 minute, the version of all too well, the label was just like, you can't have a 10 minute long song. So they made her cut it down to five. So with Taylor's version, she doesn't have anyone telling her not to do that. So she's just putting whatever bonus tracks, you know, like with the new CD, there's no way the studio that she was with would have let her do 31 songs in one night. Like they would have been like, no, you release the other half, you know, five months later or whatever. But she's her own label, so she can just do whatever. I love that. I love it so much. All right, thank you for explaining that because I was like, everybody's like, what is Taylor's version? And I was like, that's man, look, she was in a yeah. bad Pete Diddy deal, Suge Knight deal. She got cooked. Oh, she got doing her own thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Her, her, Meg The Stallion. I think had the same. I think, but Meg The Stallion. I think changed or something like that. It was something. She had one. Kesha deal was crazy too. That that's nasty, nasty. Yeah, and that also the other thing was was that in that deal with her getting her stuff back from him, he wanted her to sign an NDA to never say a negative thing about him in public. So he would still own half her music and she couldn't talk about him badly. And That's you thought, crazy. Right? And you thought she was going to be cool with that. Yeah, nobody's cool for that. Nobody's cool for that. That's no. just, uh, that's, that's Scooter Braun, bro. What the? Yeah, yeah. Scooter Braun, yeah. <sighs> anyway, yikes. Also, like, do, you know, right. do you know how much he messed up by not just making a deal with her and getting, you know, 10%? <laughs> He should just did that. I know he be great. I know he's kicking himself in the great foot right now. Could, could you imagine believe. getting ten percent of this album right now, bro? I would. I would die. I would die. <laughs> yeah. I, I said, what the f-? like? I don't know. I don't know how you not see uh, music. Is, I would go all in on music. Just music is it's timeless. It's never. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I just. It's just. So, it's it's the same thing with like Marvel and Sony where they won't agree about Spider Man. Like, yeah, just let the other mo- just take half a billion dollars. Yes, it's like Spider Man. Yeah, you'll <laughs> be fine. I, I'll be fine. It's yeah, fi- you, that, timeless. I don't know. It's crazy, bro. I, yeah, uh, Taylor Swift I, is is. I don't know. I, I I love her. She's great. She's cool. Mm-hmm. The music is the songwriting, but yeah, the album is amazing. Yeah, I listen to it all day at work. Soothing, calm, nice. Uh, what is your favorite tracks on the album? My favorite tracks. I mean, Fortnite's great. I, have you seen the music video for that yet? No, I'm not gonna watch it after this. I'm gonna watch it. After this. The music video is it's really great. cool because she's actually wearing the dress she wore at the Grammys to announce it. Oh. So people think she filmed the music video, then just went to the Grammys. So that whole that. time she knew she had a Post Malone song and just didn't tell anybody. Oh, but, shit. Yeah, so I would say Fortnite, Down Bad. This is going to be a long list because it's a long album. Um, Florida. Yeah, I think my like favorite favorites, um, probably How Did It End? I think that's what it was called. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and Black Dog. Ooh, that that that's a good one. That's a good one. Co- and good Black one. Dogs, the there's a vinyl for Black Dog where it's actually a black vinyl, and the entire vinyl is black with the main cover on it. But I think each of those is like fifty, sixty bucks a piece. Pesos or like US, USD, USD, yeah, USD. Yeah, not counting. Yeah, Uncle, Uncle Sam dollars. All right. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot uh, of tax returns going to Taylor Swift. Just I imagine want... two years when she owns everything, she can do a box set. My money. Because what I really hope she'll do, I hope because she has never had a greatest hit CD, which is insane. For yeah. someone as big as her to never have a greatest hit CD, that's I crazy. Want her, I want her to release a box set with everything and just call it greatest hits. Just say every song's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. Oh, yeah, just, a, that's... just a 250 song box set. Damn, because I'm like, she's like, she's kicking, man. 
I don't know like, what she's going to... How many, how many greatest hits have the Beatles had since they broke up? Like, 20, right? Yeah. Yeah. And she has not had yeah. a greatest hit CD. Damn, Taylor, Taylor Swift greatest hits coming? Damn. I don't, that, that, I don't even know what that would be like. That would be, that would be insane. Yeah. Oh. She, could, she could literally just put them in alphabetical order at that point and just mix them all up. Yeah, I don't even... Her album... Her albums might be crazy. Damn, they're going to be thick, yo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yo. 1989, bro. 1989 was special. That's my shit. Oh, Brad. Yeah, because oh, 1989, God. she said that she wrote 100 songs for it. And trimmed off, what, 85 or something? <sighs> so she had, like, if she ever does, like, a deep cuts or whatever thing, she has so okay. many. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. I didn't think that's crazy, bro. We might need that. I didn't think about that till I was like, yo, 50 greatest hits. Ooh. All right. Also, how oh, you did that pause? It, oh, it, 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 oh, yeah, it, it did. Another I thing, do, um, people have been keeping track how many, because she has her set list for Eras Tour. Because, like, when I saw her, it was the same as every other show, except the two live songs in the the two acoustic songs in the middle were different for everybody. So mm. by the end of the tour, she'll probably have played every song live. So she could release an era tours box set with literally every song she's ever written live, mm. which would be like a 10 vinyl set. What's your favorite song to see her live? What's your favorite, favorite song? I mean, all too well was really cool just because the entire section I was in was shouting the entire bridge. And this was like, what, two and a half hours in? And we were just all exhausted. And Taylor's like, guys, wake up. Like, I'm fine. Like, I don't know what her cardio is, but it's disgusting. <laughs> like, yeah. Because um, apparently to train for the tour, she did the tour and sang it on a treadmill every morning for three hours. So she performed the entire tour every day for like three months while on a treadmill, which is ridiculous. Like, what? I can't do yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she did a full interview saying that that's how she made sure, because I, I know this is a really random segue, but I remember when I was in high school, when Outkast was preparing for their first tour, they would do laps around the neighborhood doing the songs together. That way they would be able to do them while running around on stage and everything. So Taylor just took that to the extreme and did it every day for like three months or something stupid. Her heart cardio is insane. She could literally post the video of her doing that on the treadmill and we'd buy it. I'd buy it. Like I would treadmill be surprised. Would, yeah, Taylor Swift treadmill version. Like we'd buy that. Oh, Tay Tay. <laughs> but yeah, like you were saying about how her music seems like her music does not seem like she's writing it for other people. If that makes sense, like she's not. Yeah, I don't feel like she's right because she's saying like the song "I Look Through Windows." That's not going to be on radio. Like that's a weird song. Mm -hmm. But she's writing it because she wants to. Because like when I was at the show. <laughs> I was, it was Lincoln Financial. I was 10th, I was 10th row in the stand. So I wasn't on the field. Mm -hmm. And I turned around to take a picture so I could have like a selfie of me and the stage and realized the entire, I was like, oh, there's 80,000 people in here. And it's like for her to write music like that and have 80,000 people every single night. And then we found out there was 20,000 in the parking lot. So she technically had 100,000 people at that show. Mm -hmm. Like, because I know people obviously go to She Just Does Break Up Songs. You don't get 100,000 people with break up songs. Yeah, it's not. Like, no way. I, bro, I her, all her, yeah. my favorite songs are, are faster, but I like, oh, <laughs> back to December. I got, <laughs> got, no, that got me one time. I was in, I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. I had goosebumps. Goosebumps. Oh, yeah. uh, goosebumps. Lover, lover, too, gets me every time. I really like uh, that that feels like a sequel to Reputation. But it's yeah. funny because Reputation looks sad, but it's actually kind of happy. And Lover looks happy, but mm -hmm. it's honestly kind of sad. Yeah. Can I go? That's what I said with Shawn Mendes. I was surprised. I don't like yeah. Shawn Mendes. He killed that. Mm -hmm. I felt that. And then there's the version, the ballroom version. Uh, yeah. I was like, yeah. I, I, Taylor Swift, man, is, is just intimate. Yeah. Taylor Swift is intimate. That's what it, and that's I, what it is. I wish, because she used to do, um, 
I'm not gonna remember what they're called, but she used to do things where, cause she would have like the website and like the fan list or whatever. Or, um, she would do like social sessions where she would invite 30 fans over to her house and play the new, the new album for them, like the week before. And like, mm-hmm. she can't do that right now. Cause you know, billion people would show up. Yeah. Yes. But there was a thing where she had, I think it was for lover. She invited like 30 fans over. And when they walked in, she baked them all cookies. Mm-hmm. Like what I would give to have Taylor perform a full album for me live before it came out and bake me cookies. That'd be lit, but we gotta get on the list. Yeah. Yo, Taylor Swift, how do we get ta- Taylor Swift? We, me and Brian need to be at these events, bro. Bake cookies, um, we'll bake, we'll do something. When the Eras Tour movie came out, they sent like content creators and stuff, little like kits that had like a bunch of t shirts and it had like Taylor Swift popcorn in it or whatever. And on Instagram, there's a girl whose dog, she like puts the dog in pictures of all the Taylor poses. The dog got one. So I was like, how'd the dog get a car, uh, um, a Taylor Swift blanket? And I didn't. <laughs> yeah, we, we got to figure something out. Brian, you got to be on the list. Look, mm-hmm. I, if you need, look, Brian can take my spot, bro. We got we to gotta fix this. This is crazy. Mm-hmm. This is crazy. Yeah, because the bigger she gets, the harder those tickets are going to be to get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's going to be crap. Yeah, I got to see it because I'm kind of, I'm a little hurt, but it's okay. I got I to gotta get, I got to step my Taylor merch up. I got to get some, I want uh style. Style, I gotta get some more styles. My five, my favorite. Mm. No, yeah, might be, might be, <laughs> might be. Never mind, that's yeah. my shit. I, I don't, I can't stop moving every time that song comes on. I mm. like how it starts. Uh, I just love everything of the lyrics, everything. Uh, dress is another one. Oh my god, 21, 20, no, 22 is my 20, shit. 20, 20, yeah. Was, yeah, it's not a 21, 21, no, it's 22. <laughs> They don't rhyme anymore 20, if you do that. No, I don't rhyme anymore. Oh, God. Yeah, 20. Uh, 32. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah. I need, I, need, I need the 32 version. She got to do... She's what? She's 30? I think she's either 34 or turning 34. Oh, shit. She's, her, she's around her age. Oh, shit. Yeah. Some, yeah. I forget. Yeah, because she... Her birthday is December 13th for the... That's why lucky number 13. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, so... Yeah. And also, I think in October, I think this year there's two Friday the 13th. So uh, people think each of those might be when the last two re-releases happen. Ooh. Which would make sense because Friday would be the song. Huh. But yeah, because when I went to the show, the show was three and a half hours. And Phoebe was like 45 minutes or so before, I think. And Okay. I really want to see Phoebe in like a smaller venue because Phoebe's great, but Phoebe in a giant stadium where everyone's freaking out, screaming for Taylor. It was like kind of hard to hear her, but it's also, Uh I don't know if you knew this, but when Phoebe comes out at the beginning of her set, she comes out to down with the sickness by disturbed. I think that's amazing. And a little girl in my section looked at her dad and said, what is happening? Cause she just heard the guitar (laughs) riff and she was like, dad, we're not at Taylor. What's going on? She was freaking out. (laughs) <laughs> she was like you took me to the wrong show we're gonna miss taylor oh that'd be crazy yeah, that's god like that's and it's God-like. cool because god. all of them have the skeleton pajamas on the stage yeah. that's dope that's dope yeah I, de- I definitely want to because i was gonna see boy genius with um beginning of the year but i wasn't able to go but mm-hmm. she's supposed to be doing a new city i definitely want to try and see her at like a smaller venue mm-hmm. especially if she doesn't i want to see her. I want to see the bleachers. I want yeah. to see them. That's how I want they're, to see. They're going to be hard to see now too, just because by proxy yeah. they're connected to Taylor now. Yep, that's why I was like, "Yo, this man Jack, that man mm-hmm. Jack's a genius." I like yeah. Jack. That's my dog. I like him. I like yeah. I like them. They, they're going to be in Philly in June twelfth. Okay, cool. Yep. So like two months. Yeah, so I got time. Yeah, I want to see him though. Well, watch Taylor show up. I'll die. Yeah, I'll die. You, you think I'm a fool now? If she's in there, you're getting bogeyed out the way, brother. I'm not yeah. playing. Hey, Taylor, <laughs> please, Taylor. Uh, I was like, why are you here? Please, yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak. I'm gonna freak out. I'll die. Mm-hmm. Your favorite Taylor merch? What's your favorite Taylor merch that you own? Good. Yep. It did the. And we're back. For our sponsor, what's your favorite Taylor merch? Um, 
So I have the, from Folklore, there's a varsity jacket that she did that I have that I really like. Um, hmm. I really wanted the ring that came out for this, but mm. it sold out in like, I think 300 on eBay. And she was selling them for like 35. But yeah, it's a ring with the TTPD logo. And then the, the engraving just says Taylor Swift a bunch of times around it. But yeah, it was only 35 bucks, but now it's hundreds. So what? Yeah. We have to hope for a restock at this point, but I mean, oh, I, I hate that word. I hate that. No, word. especially for her. Yeah, I, I hate restock. I hate that word. Because when I got 1989, one of the four CDs they sent me didn't have the photo packet in it. And mm -hmm. they were like, we'll send it with the next restock. It was six months later. That's how long it took them to catch up with everybody ordering her stuff. That's a year. It's, a, it's almost a year. It's almost, mm -hmm. it's almost, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Scalpers, you can't keep getting away with this. You can't keep getting away with this! And that ring selling out was even with them only doing one per person. It mm. still sold out that fast. But it's it's insane. We gotta we gotta we gotta fix this. We gotta fix this. It's not, it's yeah. not okay. It's not okay. It's not just, okay. Yeah. Just have eBay not have Taylor Swift possible on there. Okay. Okay. What um what are people's reaction when you're telling them you're a Taylor Swift to your Taylor fan? What's the best reaction you ever had? Um, so my group of wrestling friends, yeah. um, cause we met, like I met one at GameStop and then we started like, cause we became friends basically right when AEW was starting up with all in. So we basically just kind of watched AEW together from the beginning. And after we hung out a few times, I friended them on Facebook and Bob sees all my friend Bob sees all my Taylor Swift posts and he just messaged me. Yeah. He just messaged me and he goes, That makes sense. Yeah. He was just like, Oh, it adds up now. But yeah, every once in a while I'll get people that just think I'm joking for some reason. And it's really weird. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. It's like Yeah, I got a tattoo to pretend to be a Taylor Swift fan. Like That's crazy. That's crazy. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Is that your first tattoo? It's my well, it's my only one right now. Yeah. Okay. okay I'm okay. planning on one for the new CD. Ooh. Yeah, I will be covered if I just... I, I gotta be careful with things I love. When yeah. I like something, I gotta yeah. be careful. I gotta it, be very if careful. tattoos were free, I'd be very different looking. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will... Yeah, same. I'll be covered. But I also gotta think before I've been... I'm, I'm getting... I'm getting a little like... Ooh, ooh, yeah. uh, uh, Especially the combo person and person that loves nerdy things. Nerdy well, especially things with comic money. books, because like you could get if you got every single spider person on you, that cover like sixty percent of your body. Yep, and you gotta be careful. You, gotta, you just gotta be careful what you're doing. Yeah, I'm like, <sighs> I'm a madman when it comes to things like this. I gotta mm. stop. Because yeah. what was like, your first time? Ooh, Iron Fist. It was the Iron I... Fist. Yes, I... You just went from 0 to 10 with tattoos. Yeah, I went 0 to 10 <laughs> with fucking Iron Fist. I yeah. think Iron Fist... I saw the show, and I mm -hmm. said, I went straight to the comic book shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everywhere I read everything. I... It was crazy how I obsessed with this character. Danny Rand I was, and I was like, oh, I want a tattoo. And then I didn't realize how tattoos work. Mm -hmm. So... I didn't eat, and it was uh, like, oh, it's 30 minutes of a tattoo. No, three <laughs> hours, shaking. Yeah, this, just... this was 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, shaking. I was shaking. Mm. i never forget it. The one I'll that never... I want to do but don't think I'll ever have the guts to do it, I want the full rap Margo has as Harley Quinn of the Diamonds, but it's like... That's so much real estate. <laughs> and like, I just, cause like I was fine with this one, but at the end of it, uh -huh. I was like, you know what? I think I'm good for a little while. Cause it, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't actually hurt. It just feels like they're like scraping away stuff. And it's really yes. weird feeling. It's a weird feeling. But it it's didn't hurt so until weird. like three days later. 
Yeah. My Blue Beetle one is, is another one too that was like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm that was an... I'm planning on one for this. Um, I will get a Harley eventually. I just don't know if I'll go, you know, full. Same. I want Wonder Woman sleeve, man. But I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I gotta figure out something. I want Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's my favorite. I gotta figure out Wonder Woman. Yeah. I just I I love it. I love it. So there, there's, I... there's a ton of cool things you could do for her. Like you could have like the lasso wrapped around you or something. Ah, uh, yeah. But I also like I like a. Uh, the art in a new Wonder Woman Tom King book, I love it. Mm. I just love everything, man. Uh, Dead Earth, I love that. It's like Woman Wonder Woman just being negative. I'm down. Mm. I'm just straight down. up murdering people. Just murdering. It's just uh, yeah, lifting up rocks and stuff. I just it's something about oh, just her holding the tank or doing things. I'm like, yo, yeah, give me that. Mm. I want Superman. Oh, I like Superman too. I got Superman, but I also want. I just think ah. Uh, t- Taylor Swift, I gotta get Mike. I might have to get a style tattoo or something. Mm. I got, I got style tattoo, for sure, for sure. Okay, all right. So double check we... the music video for that because I think in the music video there's like an outline of her at one point, and that could be a cool one to do. Mm. That way you're not getting, you know, someone to draw Taylor Swift and then it ends up looking like somebody else. Okay. Yeah. All right. Before we switch gears. Mm-hmm. We turn the table for we turn, turn, turn tables on our, our on me. Do you have any questions for me? Taylor Swift related, anything related? What do you have questions for me? Do you have any questions for me? Do you have a Taylor Swift song or album that you don't like? Ooh, the thing about Taylor Swift is that, that annoys me is that I don't I I I had to change the way I listen to our albums because mm-hmm. I missed a lot of like fucking gems like Reputation. I yeah. was just like, uh, man, oh man, yeah, and I'm like, shit. I I it's it's good and I, oh, I yeah. went back to every single album folklore I went back to because I'm not really into the slow music but I'm I appreciate it differently her more folk the stuff. Li- and I turned the the lyrics up on my EQ so I just hear the lyrics because mm-hmm. I feel like a Taylor Swift is just like a lyric 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 yeah lyrics lyric, and I'm just I said shit this is really good yeah this is really good so she changed the directory of my music taste of listening to music. As lyrics, listen to the lyrics. She did that, and I yes. like I appreciate it. And then, like when I go on Spotify now, I don't listen to like the top songs. I go mm. to the albums first, and I listen to the albums like pop, pop, pop. So I get like more of a better feel for the artist. But intimately, I've never met, never listened to anybody else that was more intimate and feeling than her. Yeah, than her. I have not yet. I love, I love Carly Rae, Carly Rae Jepsen. Oh no, I, yeah, her yeah. Carly Rae. They're right there, and like, but Taylor's like, it's like, Shh. yeah. I just, oh man, I just, because I, I really think with, I really think with folklore and Evermore, she realized that she can just kind of write what she wants and not what she feels like she has to. Yes, and because when you can, especially to her first CD, her first CD was very much country radio, which there's nothing wrong with that. Yes, but comparing yes. her lyrics, I mean, she's been doing this almost twenty years, something probably like that. Mm-hmm. Like if you consider when she was like mm-hmm. actually writing, but yeah, it album to album, she basically just keeps getting better, which is ridiculous because she's been good the whole time. Mm-hmm. Fuck it with it, fuck it with it. All right, question. All right, uh, any more questions? For I gotta ask you the final question. The final question I gotta ask uh, I you. I think I'm good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right, rank the Tales of Albums. What is your ranking of the Tales of Albums? <sighs> It's like ranking my children if I had any. Um, I, that's what, I had to do it. I yeah. had to do it. So I'm going to say, damn, I'm going to say right now, number okay. one would still be 1989. But I feel like Tortured Poets, once I've got, because to be fair, I thought we were going to be talking about 15 songs today, not 31. So <laughs> I really thought I was going to have, I really thought I was going to have, more time to do this and Taylor was like no here's more homework so but like I really feel like Tortured Poets could actually be number one for me eventually so I would say it's 1989 Tortured Poets oh this is hard um yeah I kind of wanted to be <laughs> uh Reputation Folklore Evermore but those two are like basically tied for me too okay like, I feel like they're like like okay. two part albums, pretty much. Um, interesting, interesting. 
then speak now red fearless self-title mm. but that'll probably change literally if you ask me tomorrow so okay <laughs> like it's hard because i feel like putting self-titled last makes it sound like it's mm. bad but it's not it's just also yes. i'm really interested to hear how it sounds with like you know 34 year old taylor singing the song she wrote when she was 16. yeah we gotta, we gotta, we might have to do this every re-release. I think. I'm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at the very yeah. least, we have two more this year. I, mm -hmm. I would imagine. Yes. That it, yes. Also, yeah. that's assuming we're not literally back here next week because she put out part three. I'm. I swear to God, Taylor, <laughs> slow down. Yeah. <laughs> slow down, because I like, didn't know the other album dropped until my friend Julia was like, "Oh, what?" I said. Bro, what do you mean another part of this shit drop? I said, yeah, what do you so mean? When she announced it at the Grammys, when she said she'd been planning it for two years, she went like that and didn't look at the camera. And mm. her page would be like, hey, new album in two months, and it kept doing this. And mm. everyone was like, oh, that means she's going to drop Reputation at 2 a.m. So I was at my friend's listening to it. Me and her were hanging out listening to it. And it was a little before two. And I was like, she's going to announce something at two o'clock. And when I scrolled down, Apple Music just loaded up and then it had all the extra songs. And I was like, oh, it's a double album. I'm not sleeping tonight. <laughs> like, and I, I, you know. I think I got to bed at like 5 a.m. and went to work at like 10. Oh, you're a and, man, man. I love it. But I, I was just like, no, she put out, she put out, what was it, 16 more songs, I think? Because it was 15 and then bro. she added another 16. Bro, bro. Like, that's, I said... What the fuck? I said, no way. <laughs> so when when the post said, you know, surprise at the double album, I was like, oh, where's the release date? You know, like I thought she was going to be like part one's today, part two summer or something. Mm. But it was just like, it just had the link. And I was like, oh, it's just there. Because she did that with Midnight's, the 3 a.m. edition. But it was like, what, four songs extra? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which even that was crazy. But. I don't get how she wrote two albums while touring. Bro. And also going to the Super Bowl and everything. Like, was she in the Super Bowl box just writing songs? Bro. She's like, like, oh, <laughs> like how? Hey. Yeah. I just, I don't get how she continues to do this. And she, like, it would be different if she did this, but they were crappy. Bro. They're, to me, they're all, yeah. all, all those songs are like very intimate and philological and thought out and the lyrics were every. There was yeah. no like, like there, I was there, like, there's no filler. Yeah, as I didn't, I didn't think anything was not important to like listen till I was like, damn, no, damn, oh my god, I was, this is personal. This is personal. Yeah. And it just, it just keeps going. And I'm just, I, I, I'm quite shocked on how much an artist is doing this. I'm just like, okay, I'm trying my best not to be like, this is might be an all timer, greatest of all time. I don't know, bro. I, I love Carly Rae Jepsen, Carly Rae Jepsen <laughs> but I'm like. <laughs> Yeah. What's going on? I, I don't know. I, w I wish Carly Rae Jepsen would do stuff like more like this. I think she's great. I think she's looking great. But yeah, I think it's great. It's just know. Taylor just is constantly working. Because yeah. like in the song, she says, you know, like, I think she says, like, I'm so depressed, but I'm productive or whatever. Like, she's just constantly doing this. Yeah. And I'm like, this is this is talent. Talent. To like when um, when she did the folklore shut at my show, she like has the guitar in like the folklore house. And she's talking to everybody. And she was like, she said she was, when lockdown happened, she was like, you know what? I'm actually going to take a break. She was like, I'm going to be that lady that wanders through the woods picking up acorns or whatever. She's like, I'm just going to do my thing. She said it lasted a day. The second day of lockdown, she started writing folklore. She literally couldn't make it 48 hours without writing an album. And she's just like, she started this two years ago. So realistically, she's probably already started the next one. Mm. it's just uh, I feel feelings and it's <laughs> like I don't know I like how that makes me feel that's really good it's like yeah. oh and okay, it's especially I, cool I, that because usually songs like that you get from an artist that's much more like indie not from the biggest artist in yeah. the world right now yeah I just I will I Taylor uh, Swift is so good she's mm. so good she's so good before I let you go mm -hmm. what are you reading what are you reading and what are you watching Watching, I'm trying to catch up on Doctor Who. 
because okay. they did a Doctor Who card set that I really liked. And I was like, this looks cool. I should probably know what the hell's going on. Okay. So I started, I'm into the Matt Smith, I want to say like season six or seven of the new stuff. So that's what I've been watching for the most part and wrestling when I can. Um, reading, I've been reading the distillery stuff so far. That's been my main stuff just because I'm just not caught up on DC right now. And I will also be reading Blood Hunt, which starts, I want to say in two weeks, I think. Mm. Yeah, because Blood Hunt, I'm going to do everything for because it's vampires. And I mean, I grew up on Buffy, so. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. What are you reading? What are you, are you pause? What are you I reading? I only heard, what are you? Oh, what are you reading? <laughs> uh, hello? Ah, no! <laughs> oh, hello? We're back. And we're back! Okay. We're, 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 <laughs> what, are you, what are you reading? Um. Oh, so like, not comic book wise, I've been catching up on a lot of manga since I started reading Dragon Ball again. Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite besides Dragon Ball, obviously, is uh, Mariko Chan, I think is how you say it. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's it's basically Sixth Sense, but in a Japanese high school. Okay. 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 I love it. Uh, Mariko. Hello? I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. Mariko. Oh, no, no. It, it froze again. <laughs> Damn it. Why does it always do it when... Mm, okay. Anywho. <laughs> anywho. Yeah, I have this big stack of comics right here I'm going to knock out today. <laughs> what I could say. I'm going to catch up. <laughs> it probably... Mother Pfeiffer. Mother Pfeiffer. Okay. Now you're Can't back. get away with this. All right. I'm reading a ton of comics. I got I got a stack right here. <laughs> I'm about to knock it out today. And I got it's going, it's I got... going out every time you started talking now. <sighs> I hate it here. Okay. It's like the Oscar music. All right. We get it. We get it. Yeah. All right. As I was saying, I got to read the comics. Mm-hmm. Stack. I can knock out quick. Boom. Bow. Uh, um, I, I watched Shogun. Shogun's pretty sick. And I listen to some Tay Tay right now. But yeah, do you listen to, do you listen to tips when you read comics? Sorry, it. I heard some comics. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's funny. Um, I, I would like to, but I feel like I'm then not paying attention to the comic. Like, if okay. she ever released like acoustic versions of stuff, I 100 percent. Look, well, not acoustic, instrumental. Mm-hmm. If she ever did like instrumental folklore or Evermore, I would 100 percent listen to that while reading stuff. Normally, I'll just like. What is it like the YouTube videos where you type in, you know, like rainforest ambient music or whatever? I'll just like find that and listen to it. Cause like I found one for Dragon Ball, but then about halfway through it starts like a fight. And I was just like, I can't read this while there's a fight going on. <laughs> like you just see like your like key blast going off. And I was like, yeah, I can't read a manga while that's happening. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, thank you, Brian, for coming on. Of course, yeah, thank we you. Gotta, when, when Reputation, anything, when all that stuff comes out, we're going to have you back. Cause it's going to be yeah. T-Swift Talk, mm-hmm. the one shot. T-Swift Talk, the one shot. Uh, tell us where they can find you and what you've got going on. Um, Where they can find me is, like, my Instagram or my job. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I mean, <laughs> if you can put a job out there, I, I wouldn't do that personally, but it's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, well... The, the thing is, well, oh, you work, do work, you do work, you do want people to come. It's a comic book shop. Yeah, because like I mean, if they go, if they go to my Instagram, they'll know my job because of my streams. So, yeah, okay, they'll, they'll, yeah. they'll find it one way or the other. Yes, yes, but but yeah. So my Instagram, do I know my Instagram handle? I want to say it's Brian yeah. Hall eighty-eight. I think Brian Hall eighty-eight. That sounds right. If it's not, yep, I'll change yep. it after this. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'm yeah just working at the Comic Mania comic shop. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can find me at Sailor Games 18 everywhere. TikTok, YouTube, at your mom's house. That's where I'll be. I'm everywhere. And I'm all, yeah, I'm here. That's what I'll be doing, okay? <laughs> Listen to Tales of Album. Tell me what you think. What's your favorite Tales of Album? Put it in the comments. Like, share, subscribe to your mom, to your dad. I'm probably going to put this up really fast because mm-hmm. I need to know. We, the streets need to know about Taylor Swift. But because thanks, Brian. Everyone's talking about it right yep. now. Yeah. I'm going to probably drop it today. I'm like, okay. oh, man. One shot. It's fine. Bonus episode. Let's go. Yeah, just do uh, it. Yeah. Tap in. Tell your mom, tell your dad we love you. Brian, what advice do you have for us today? If anything, if I owe you money, tell them. Listen, listen oh. to more Taylor Swift. All right. Listen. You heard him, man. Heard him. Because you, you already Swift. say drink more water, so. 
Dr- oh yeah, drink more water and listen to Taylor Swift. You can't go <laughs> wrong. Hydrate your face, your body, your mind, everything. That's all. Bam. Pressing it. Mm.